Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three identical circles with radius 1 that are tangent to each other as you can see in this figure. And now we are going to calculate the length of this elastic band around these three circles. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect the centers of these three circles. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this center A to this center B, likewise B to C, and then A to C. And here's our much nicer looking diagram, and we know that the radius of this each circle is 1. So that means this length a, B, this one is going to be a 1 plus 1 is 2. Likewise, this B, C is going to be 2 as well. And this A, C is going to be a 2 as well. So thus we can see that we got this equilateral triangle A, B, C whose side length A, B, A, C and B, C, each of them are equal to 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw line segments from each of these centers onto this band, this elastic band. Let's go ahead and do this one over here. Likewise, this is going to be here. This is going to be here. Likewise, here. And this is going to be here. And finally, this is going to be here. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that this elastic band is behaving like a tangent to these circles. Then according to the tangent to a circle theorem, these line segments are perpendicular. And here's a tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So that means this angle between this radius and the tangent is going to be 90 degree. Likewise, all of these angles are going to be 90 degrees each. So thus we got these three congruent rectangles. First one, and this is second one, and this is third one. They are congruent. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So that means this side length is going to be equal to this side length. So if this is 2, then this side is going to be 2 units as well. Likewise, this side is same as this one. So this is going to be a 2 as well. And finally, this side length is equal to this one. So this is going to be a 2 as well. So thus we got these line segments D, E, H, K, and uh, FG, they are equal in length and each has a length 2 as you can see over here to each. And now let's focus on this triangle ABC and we know that this is an equilateral triangle since each of its side is 2 units. So therefore all of its angles going to be 60 degrees each. So this angle is going to be 60 degrees this is going to be 60 degrees and this is a 60 degrees as well and now let's focus on this top circle and we can see that this angle is 90 degrees this is 90 degree as well and this is 60 degrees and we know that the sum of the all the angles over here are 360 so that means this angle on this side is going to be 120 degrees for this uh, DAK so therefore our angle DAK turns out to be 120 degrees and likewise the angle for this left hand side this circle this angle 
EBF is going to be 120 degrees as well and finally for this circle on the right hand side this angle GCH is going to be 120 degrees as well and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the length of the circular arc of this elastic band around this circle so that means we are going to calculate the length of this circular arc around these circles as I shaded in the green this length this length and this length as well and we know that the central angle for each of these circular arc is 120 degrees this one this is 120 degrees and this is 120 degrees as well so if we add all these three angles 120 degrees 120 degrees and 120 degrees so this combined angle is going to be 360 degrees for all these three circles so therefore 360 degrees means that we are talking about one full circle in other words we will be calculating the circumference of a circle with radius 1 and here's the circumference of a circle formula c equals to 2 pi r so circumference is going to be simply equal to 2 pi times we know the radius is simply 1 so circumference turns out to be 2 pi and here's our final step we are going to now calculate the total length of this band and we know DE is 2 units HK is 2 units as well FG is 2 and finally the circumference is 2 pi so I'm going to write down 2 pi over here so thus the length of the band is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 pi which is equal to 6 plus 2 pi and that is our answer so thus the total length of this elastic band turns out to be a 6 plus 2 pi units or if we put it in a decimal form it's approximately equal to 12.28 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye